All right, part three of the videos today because I'm feeling spry. You got to be a, a, a diehard believer to watch my videos. I understand that. So let me see if I can correct that right now. I broke down, like I said, and went out. And it's been six months since I've pretty much bought one of these. But we got the Ilera Blue Dream um, Church. If you're watching, turn your head. Because this is called Get High and Preach for a reason. And I have something to say. Um, I got a comment on one of my videos. And I'm going to respond in kind. Anyway. That's enough of that. So. <coughs> okay. That's not good. I'm asking, I asked them at the store yesterday why people are dying and what they're inhaling, and they said vitamin E acetate, something like that. And uh, <coughs> I just hope that. Uh, anyway, we're not going to get into that. What we're going to get into this morning is your choices. You have a choice to make. All right, there are only two choices. All right, there's the truth and there's the lie. There's nothing in between. There is no middle man. There's no line in the middle of the street. There's no fence. If you're walking on the fence, if you're walking on the line, then you're on that side. Do you understand? You're on the lie. If you're walking in, the, in between something, you're always on the lie. You're on the, you're on the, you're on the wrong side. You're, you're... If you don't believe me, look at all these landlord, I mean, um, bad neighbor videos. It's always about that line. And if they don't like you and you're walking on that line, well, obviously you both have an issue, correct? So this is going to have to take a minute for you to understand because it's, it's slipping me a little bit. If you and your neighbor are having an issue with your borders, your, your, your property line, and like we see these people put fences up and then the neighbor gets mad, um, I wouldn't care, you know, then that's my privacy too. That's a free fence for me. Please put it up on my property. But um, what I'm saying is that if one of you are walking on that line or you build a fence on that line, the other one's going to, you're wrong. Okay, and they're going to take you to court or they're going to damage it or whatever happens. But you're always in the wrong. It doesn't matter what side of the fence you're on, you're always in the wrong. If you're walking on the in the middle of Christ or everything else, because on this side it is literally pure white. It is absolutely peace and calm. But on this side, it's complete and utter chaos. The whole it's it's a wall of war and anger and hatred and deception of all forms. There's more deception now then I, I don't know about the pre-existence, but I do know that right now we have the opportunity to worship your Ajax dish soap if you want to. You can marry your dog or your cat. So there's that side of it. If you're on that side or walking in the middle, bumping up against it, you're in it. You don't go to the edge of the water and stick your toe in that water and think for a minute that just because it's your toe that your body is not affected by that water. You're in there. You got your toe in it, you're in it. You put your toe in the lake of fire and you're done. Do you understand that? Bottom line is this. On this side is every filthy and disgusting, monstrous thing that human beings could possibly do. And on that side is peace and quiet and serenity and hope and love and purity of spirit, which is the most important thing. I uh, do not, you know, I see women, all, we, we look around and there are beautiful women everywhere, um, surrounded by beautiful women at work. I'm surrounded by, you know, um, 
strong women. You know, that's always been an intimidating factor to me. I didn't even realize it, but I, I do respect a very strong woman. Um, and uh, I've always been attracted to that. Um, but if you're not beautiful on the inside, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You, uh, that's sure. I see that outward beauty at first, and 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 I have been taken back by some. There have been few women in in my lifetime that have stopped my heart. That and I mean, not exaggerating, literally caused my heart to stop when I've seen them, and take my breath away. That has happened to me. All right, and that and I believe it was three times. Um, the first real time was with my wife uh she took my breath away she 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 stopped my heart for a brief second my i i felt it and and i was it was not something that was voluntary it was a oh my lord look at that beautiful woman that's what that was okay that happened uh it did happen again to me not too long ago i'm not gonna i walked into the to the place of business i'm not gonna say where and I saw this girl, this woman looking down at the cash register doing her job, and it took my breath away. That that did happen, and I was bedazzled, maybe. I don't know, but she was absolutely beautiful. Um, the third time isn't important, but what I'm saying to you is that if that beauty inside doesn't match, it means nothing. Uh, it's like smoking cigarettes, all right? I guarantee you that cigarettes will destroy that beauty from the inside out. Cigarettes, for all the carcinogens in the, in the smoke, will it takes away from you somehow. It robs you of your beauty. You start to get the lines around your eyes, probably from the smoke. I don't know, but I used to smoke, and it was hell to quit. I have nightmares about smoking now, um, but I'm, I'm probably getting off the issue. What I started out the video about was the impossibility of anything other than believing the truth, all right? Um, I'd like to say when I make these videos, you have your own choice. I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm not trying to make you into a Christian. That that has consequences for you not accepting Christ there are consequences my job is to plant a seed and to tell you the truth the truth is there is nothing else but lies there is Jesus and then there is lies and if you believe the lie look it's okay man you don't have to keep going on in it like Donald Trump Donald Trump doesn't want to admit anything because he doesn't want to be wrong and unfortunately as human beings, we don't want to be wrong, okay? I don't want to be right either, though, believe me. I, I, let me put that disclaimer. I, I wish you were right. I wish the guys out there, the people that are saying that there is no God or that once you die, man, you see this? Fingers crossed. I got my hope. But guess what? That's not true. The truth is you were a being created long before. Oh, man, that's a scratch or a crack. Why didn't I get the glass? Anyway, look. You were created long before all of this. We were with God in the beginning. You probably volunteered for this. You don't remember it, but it's probably true. You know, I didn't ask to be born. How do you know you don't? Um, coffee break. I say um a lot, don't I? I do say a lot of things that I probably shouldn't. One thing that I'm trying not to do is curse. So call me out on that if I do curse. But there's the blood of Christ, and then there's a pile of junk. And um, there we go again. I'm going to become aware of that and stop saying, um. And then um, we got... A pile of lies and the truth. The truth is one thing. The truth is pure light. The truth is 
no time the truth is um, existence exactly the way that we should be existing under God's law and then the lie is 99.9% .9 of the truth that's a lie if it ain't 100% it's trash you know um, unfortunately I don't know how you could get 100% like they have THC contents in vape and, and the highest that I've seen I think was 96% but I, I don't I can't remember <laughs> but um, there has to be something else in there because you can't get 100% without a delivery system I imagine I, I don't know any, I'm going to learn about it though because there's a lot of money to be made there once it's it's um recreational use the companies are going to expand and hopefully I get in on the ground floor and uh, open my own business you know that would be a, a, that's my dream um, how any anyway if you ain't got the blood of Christ you're going straight to hell and that's it it's free you don't have to earn it. You can't earn it. After you become a Christian, then you will decide, guided by the Holy Spirit, what's for you and what's not for you. If you do become a Christian, if you call out to Christ and you become a believer, you're going to meet a lot of people that are going to tell you what to do. They're going to give you their opinions. They're going to make you feel like you're, you're not doing enough for God. And don't believe that. All right? Because as a father... I did not get a phone call or a card or anything from my children for my birthday. Nothing. No messages. Nothing. But as our father, whatever you do, what I would have loved to got to get a card from my kids. It would have been sweet. You know, I would love to see my children go out to dinner. Um... That's what God wants. He wants the birthday card. He wants to call on a hey, hey Lord. I'm not talking about Christmas. That's not God's birthday. God is eternal. He has a no beginning and no end. So that's the end of that. I can't explain it any further than that. If you want about the Holy, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost explanation that we are created in God's likeness and image, look up Genesis 126. Let us create men in our image and in our likeness we will make him. And then, of course, you look at what God created, which was body mind and spirit father son holy ghost three in one end of story um why did existence still exist if god died on the cross excuse me god did not die on the cross that body died on the cross your soul is accountable forever okay you will never die your spirit will exist long after well eternally eternally you, you you're never going to die so you have to choose where you're going to live forever. And you have two choices. Hell is not a choice to me, but you have that choice. Um, I would rather be a slave in hell than a servant in heaven. Are you out of your mind? Are you really? Because uh, you have no idea. Hell is so far worse than you can. Put your hand in your stove and keep it there for as long as you can. And then imagine your body being in there for eternity. Make all the Jewish jokes you want. But those people died singing Psalms 23. You're going to die screaming and pleading for forgiveness. And it's too late then. It's too late. But it's not too late right now. If you're here, if, you, if you're alive, you can be saved cry out to Jesus Christ, Joel 2.32, all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do that. And then listen to the Holy Spirit. Don't listen to everyone trying to crowd you out, telling you, you got to do this, you got to do that. God told me the first thing I believe he told me to do was quit smoking. So I said, all right, you want me to quit smoking? And you help me quit smoking. Guess what? I was done smoking that day. It hurt for three days, but I didn't smoke after that moment. There was never a cigarette in my mouth again that I smoked. I've lit cigarettes, but I never inhaled one. I hate the smell now, and I have nightmares about it. Anyway, God bless you. Have a good day.